That's going on guys, welcome to our Final Fantasy Grave Extras video, and before I say any of this stuff, again, I'm going to mention this probably multiple times, and there'll be also at the very end. Uh, this is going to be only a JP tier list, only JP units, and also global units that got ported over. So don't ask before you even start watching the video, where's King Bahamia, where's Melia? They're not here. I'm thinking of making like a, a global original, you know, Thing where just only global original units are on a tier list eventually. I've been I've been, I've been thinking about doing it for a long time, but there's not there's not really an, a lot of them. So I'm thinking about doing it maybe at the, maybe later in the year when there might be more. But for now, uh, global units are not or global original original units are not on JP or not on this list. So if you were not if you're looking for that, then I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, I don't want to put them in here this time. Anyways, but I included literally every other New Vision and New Vision Awakening in this list. I separated them into four tiers. F, which is the worst. Meme tier, which is, I mean, it's, it says itself. Usable tier, and then SSS plus, which is just like an exaggerated. Obviously, this is like the best tier. So, obviously, before we begin, this is just my opinion. Don't get upset if a unit is not in a proper place, because it's just my opinion. And you clicked on this video to see my opinion, obviously. Anyways, let's get into the press F to pay respects tier. We've got Dark Vertas, we've got Cloud the Original, we've got Kanshira, we've got Nalu. Keep in mind, guys, that a lot of these units do not have EX2 buffs or anything like that, but some of them, some of them do, like Soul, for example, he's still bad, unfortunately. Uh, Onion Knight Refia, Furion without EX2 buff. <laughs> Uh, Yara, the Kingdom Hearts 3 character, <laughs> and the next guy, I already forgot what his name was, from, 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 uh, this is the JP version though, this is, the global version might be better, but this guy, uh, from Full Metal Alchemist, and then Elena, on the JP side, she is absolutely awful and a joke, um, Edel, the, the, the Fenrir version, and rain, fire, rain, fire rain version, Aranea, and also New Vision Awakened um, Blossom Mage Sakura. Uh, she's just awful until she gets like some kind of buff as well. So there is the worst tier. Uh, uh, maybe fortunately for you guys, there's, this is the only page for the F tier. We're moving, I think we're moving right on. Yep, we're moving right on to the next tier, which is Ignacio, the CG version. We've also got Red 13. Yes, he got he got a buff of some kind, but it's still really just like it's just kind of like whatever still because there's there are so many changers that are so much easier to use and so much better than him. That's just like it's just like whatever. He's just kind of like in the whatever. That's why this is more like the whatever. So a unit that global I don't think ever got. I don't think global ever got. Did they or were they in a bundle? I don't think I don't remember if they were in a bundle or not, but. I guess Global is never going to get their new Vision Awakening form or anything like that. So, Lin and Jake is just, they're just kind of a kind of looted finisher that doesn't, that requires way too much work for their limited damage output. So, not worth it. Uh, Fina and Fina, just if they just got the six, uh, six ten percent cap and stuff like that, they would have been probably been a lot stronger, but they're not, they're not really that strong. That last while there, his damage has fallen off a lot and he's just kind of hard to use now. So, Radiant Lightning, or oh, uh, so, uh, New Vision Cloud, the, the first New Vision Cloud. Uh, he got a buff, but it still doesn't matter too much. It's just, it's just kind of like whatever. Still, to me, in my opinion, it still is not going to be good enough. But he's okay a finisher if you have no one else. Is all what I'll say. We got Reno here in his brave ship. He got a brave ship form. New Vision Awakening recently. He's still kind of just, just kind of. Eh. New Vision Rain, not so great anymore, and his Brave Shift form little burst is kind of a dead family now. Most most units have 24 hit little burst now that are strong now. Balthier, I'm being I'm being generous when I put Balthier here. 
Axe Star, he needs another buff to be good again. Aerith needs another buff to be good again. Dark Fina, I'm being generous putting her here because she's at least okay. Lightning, I think this is where she belongs. She's just, you're only bringing her along for the support ride. That's about it. And it pains me to put Dark Knight Luth here since he is the mascot of the channel, but unfortunately he is also here in the meme tier. Now we have the usable tier. Now this, now fortunately for you guys, uh, they may have a lot of these units. Fortunately, a lot of these units are in the usable tier, so the usable tier will, will be the, the the majority of this video here. So, GP Fina and some units that Glo uh, Global Party doesn't even recognize, but those next two units are from a collaboration that Global never got, but they are quite strong. Uh, some may argue the Angela spot there being in usable tier, not being in the top tier, but her finisher is not an elemental and eventually it will fall off compared to other units that will have magic type elemental finishes that have elements tied to them at least. So that's why I'm putting her here now. And Duran is just an okay finisher slash like cover tank, like physical cover tank. And the reason why he's here is because there's a lot of physical cover tanks now, so he's not as special anymore. So Dark Knight Leon, he's he actually would have been in the meme tier if it wasn't for his buff, so. He's actually quite good now, and actually he would compute. He's I, I want to make a video with him and uh, Sephiroth because that would make like a really good dark team. Got uh, Kefka here. He got a buff, and he's slightly decent now. Shadow, I just showed him off in one of my recent videos. He has huge modifiers on his brave shift form, so he's quite good now. Charlotte is here, a little generous, but she's a still a magic tank, so magic tanks will always be always be useful in some way. Silka, not too bad, still. For like dark visions and stuff like that, I think I would still use them for that. Uh, Sabin, okay, I guess. Fina and Lid, not too bad still. They have decent breaks, but the Brave Shift Form is so awful now. I would never use the Brave Shift Form. Nope. Raja, still decent support. Uh, C card. If you're if, guys, if you're wondering, by the way, for oh, why, why is this guy here? Uh, all these units here are New Vision Awakening or New Vision, just so you guys know. So, C card did have, does have a new vision awaken, and he's okay. Uh, you'll be seeing him in the arena a lot, though. Prompto, decent finisher, but really only for dark visions. Tifa is still okay if you don't have anyone else, but her damage obviously is going to be far lower than other units. Shantoto also got a new vision awakening, like I mentioned, to all these units, and she's pretty strong, pretty strong mage. In fact, I think she's one of the strongest mages. Also, I have Shadow Lord, decent. Uh, dark damage dealer and, and breaker and whatnot. Reagan, the reason why he's not you know in the top tier is because his his brave shift lovers unfortunately does not chain with anybody but himself, which hurts him a lot. And it's going to hurt him in the long run. Eventually, he's going to start going down down the down the, the ladder because yes, his lovers is 24 hits, but there's a delay, so that's not really unfortunate. The only usable tier, we got Lotus Mage Fina, not too bad. I would wish that she get a buff eventually. Maybe she gets more turns on her Brave Shift form. <laughs> Ign uh, Ignis is decent. Gladio is pretty good. The problem with him is that he has to do cover over and over again. I think you guys in Global know that now. I uh, got Lauren here. She got a buff, so she has six times cap in her Brave Shift form. Not too bad, but I think she needs a little bit more now. Uh, I tested her. I tested her damage out. I wanted to make a video on it. It's just like. The damage is still not really that impressive. You know she has 100, 100 times mod plus chain. It's just like it still doesn't seem to do very much. Got last will here. Always good. Always going to be very useful in some way because of his variety of being able to be any kind of chainer you want him to be. Onion Knight is always going to probably be here just because maybe he has a secret, you know, ex2 buff coming that might make him in this in this tier. So that's why that's why it's here. And we got Riku from Kingdom Hearts three. Still a decent breaker and chainer. Sora. I I just used him recently for Dark Visions. He's still okay. Charlotte and Fistless, because they have they're very accessible tag chaining, easily to use, and whatnot. I've used them on, on several occasions. So Sol Sol and Darfina are still here gonna be here for I don't know much how much longer they'll be here because honestly, I'm sure there'll be stronger magic chainers in the future, but they'll still be okay. Mazurka is here, I'm being a little generous, but you can make her work with True to Wield, but she requires a lot of gear. Snow, because he's a tank. That's, that's about it. 
Uh, Mellow, decent finisher, decent chainer, not too bad. Coral, I don't know if he's going to get the... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's just going to come to global as the way that he was buffed. Basically, before, there there's two states of Coral, basically. There's a pre-buff pre -buff state, which he was completely awful, and the after-buff state, which he's now okay. The problem with him is that he needs a, he basically needs a two-handed whip. Uh, he, his equipment section is absolutely awful, so if you don't have Ego's STMR or his own, uh, you're a little out of luck. But he's okay. He's an okay burst chainer. And we've got Diabelle or Diverti. Decent evoke chainer as well. Not too bad, not too horrible. Just okay. Just okay. And we got the last of the uh, usable tier is in, in Emperor. Now he has huge uh, magic finish potential now with his buff that he got. He has six times cap and also his his, his fire met fire uh, fire from below is really strong now. Eileen is here only because she still has that that uh, those killer buffs that global can spread and stuff like that and similar buffs that she can do. But eventually she's probably going to be going lower on the on the wrong here. Nyx still decent because he has that uh, area effect. Sarah. Decent healer still. I, I would use her if, if, an, if a healer is needed. Unfortunately, heal, healers really aren't needed right now. We've also got Barrett from the, the newest Barrett, not the four star one, of course. He also he became a physical cover tank in his brave shift form. Not too bad. Fistless, I still think she's one of the best magic changers in the game. And it's very easy to use her and she just has a really good burst. Also have Emperor Vlad. And the reason why he's on the SSS plus tier is because... He takes a bit. He takes quite a long time to get going, as you guys saw in my damage test. He takes quite a bit to get going, but he still has a variety of ways of doing damage. Ibarra is basically, she basically is good for one turn on the JP side, and that's it, because her grandest ability has a huge modifier of 400 times mod. 400 times mod, but it's only one use, so she's useful for like one or two turns if based on if she can use both of her grandest abilities in both forms. Uh, otherwise, she's just not very good. We also have Warry Mustang. I can't believe I remember his name. Every time on stream, I always forget him. Also, I put C-Card twice, apparently. Whoops. I knew there would be an error somewhere, so there's an Easter egg for you. I put C-Card twice. Uh, Warry Mustang is probably going to be one of the strongest magic finishers if he ever comes to global. He'll be one of the strongest magic finishers to that point. Uh, I don't know if he's ever going to come to global, though. As a Neo Vision Awakening, of course. He already is on global. Has a 7 star. Not very useful in that case. And now we have the best here. And some of these may be obvious to you because I've talked about them a lot, like Gilgamesh, Beatrice. I use Zyle a lot of times if you watch my videos. Zyle is amazing. Yes, his kit is pretty good, but his real strength is giving him dual wield, giving him lightnings, TMR, the original lightning, and just let him auto attack for a lot of the burst gain. That's that's his real strength. Still have Edgar here. He's still a really good jumper. I still see people using him. I still see Google using him quite a bit. So he's just really strong because he has non-elemental jumps where you can make him any element you want. So just like you already know on the global side. Also, Bartz is here. Bart, I'm being very generous with Bartz. He's really only here because of the 45% amp. Uh, the rest of his kit is just kind of like, eh. The next unit may surprise you. Uh, yes, he is here. He is here because he is amazing in his brave shoot form now. And I tested his damage out a while ago. His very damage is very strong. Also have Gibranth here. Gibranth is always going to be decent because he's a physical cover tank that every, a lot of people have. And I just don't see how he'd ever be bad because even in the most recent trials, he can he can tank just fine. Finzi still probably one of the best magic tanks in the game. Still phenomenal so if you still have her on the global side you're still all set you're gonna be set for a very long time basically if you have her we also have madame Edel, really not so much for us not so much for anything else but just for the buffs that she can give and the killers that she can give her brave shift form is a mess uh so really her you're not bringing her for damage you're not bringing her for anything else you're just bring her bringing her i'm talking way too fast you're bringing her for the buffs and stuff like that and that's about it you're not bringing your friend. Oh yeah, the LB fill as well. Terra will probably always be here because she's a decent magic, you know, evoke finisher, whatnot. So even though she's the first one of that kind, I think she'll still always be really good and a go-to finisher if you want. 
Lock out a buff. You guys know, you guys know if you watch that one video, you guys know the buff. He did get a uh, preemptive break, so which is good. Rain and Fina, obviously going to be always be decently strong. Rain and Lance, well, they have some problems with their uh, Lumpers fill and stuff like that, but they'll always be good. And we also have Axstar and Cleom, which probably will start falling off eventually as more finishers come into the game that are Sephiroth level, you know. But they're still good. Lightning, SOS, she'll always be good because she has a variety of... She has basically a Swiss knife, Swiss army knife. Which that will never be bad. She can be a healer. Uh, that, her type of healing is okay now uh, for the type of damage that we're taking. Uh, Breaker, Magic Chainer, you know, Lumpur's Chainer, stuff like that. 90% Spirit Break. Uh, Grimlet's occur on the JP side is far different than the global version. Not, not a huge difference, it's just that you're really only bringing her for the buffs that she can give, not so much the damage either. So she's in the same realm of Edel. Ferris, I think I'm only putting her in a gener here in a generous state because she can work with Bards and stuff and do really strong wind. But I still don't like that she takes so long on her own. That she doesn't have the same buffs that Terra has. So, but she still can be a breaker. She still can be a physical chainer and a, a physical finisher in a brave shift form as well. And the El El Elric brothers, hopefully global will be getting them soon. I don't know when, but soon. Uh, hopefully they'll be getting uh, the Elric brothers. They're quite good. And I'll be talking about them more if they ever come to global. And here we go with uh, Bovolt, Blade Noctis, and also Arden, both are quite good. Although I think Noctis is a little more easier to use since he's light and not dark. Dark is a little harder to use until a certain guy comes out on the global side. Uh, Luna will always be really strong. Zidane, Zidane I think is good, but honestly he is so close to another character we'll be talking about that he may not even be on the radar on the global side anymore. Vivi, uh, I've talked about him a whole lot, very strong, actually probably the strongest magic chainer. As long as you have Steiner on your team, the 5 star Steiner. You need Steiner on your team for it to work, so that's kind of the crutch. Hawkeye, another unit that Global might not get, but I'm predicting that Global will get a character that's very similar to Hawkeye at least. We'll have probably the same chaining and same damage output, just not him, I'm assuming. So Global probably will get something similar to that. And the video is going very long, so I'm going to, I'm going to get... I'm going to speed up a little bit here. Charlotte, Variety, Chainer, and Ice Finisher, Decent. Uh, Athmau, really strong Breaker and um, Physical Cover Tank. So she has a variety of options. And I made sure to put this text down below. This is the new Aerith, not the old one. You have know she was already in the list. This is the new Aerith because she has 400% buff, along, among a lot of other things. So... And the new Tifa, of course, the new, of course, Sephiroth would be here. Of course he would be. Uh, Sephiroth is what everybody is hoping for. We also got um, Nicole here, the new one. He has, still has, he still has really good buffs and things like that. We got Celeste and Cyan here, although I'm being a little generous. Uh, they're not needed if you have Sephiroth. If you don't, if you, if you have Sephiroth, you don't need Cyan. And if you have Finzi, you don't need Celeste. It's, it's kind of that thing. So here we go with the conclusion. Uh, some units are in the same tier, even if one does more damage than the other because some other reason or another, like their accessibility, they're easier to use, um, even if they don't do more damage than the other units, stuff like that. And remember guys, again, this is a JP tier list. If it wasn't obvious already, so global original units that are not on JP side were not included, and I mentioned that already in the beginning. So yeah. It's another long video. I'm sorry guys, but I had it. It, it, it takes that long to make this and it took me all day yesterday to make this even though it looks like oh wow It's just you know putting a bunch of images on there. No, I had it There's it, it a huge process. So anyways guys, thank you guys for watching Make sure to leave a like on the video if you watched all of this uh, And if you watch all of this make sure to leave in the comment section down below what you are surprised about and also tell me why your global virgin units are not in the tier list <laughs> I know there's gonna be one person. I know. Where's Malia? Where's King Behemi? I know they're I know what's gonna happen. So thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.